Hello, Nina. It's great to be your guest again. I would just simply say that Romania should prove to our neighbors, to Ukraine, because you've mentioned Moldova, Georgia, that a successful path for a country, it's a democratic one, pro-European, pro-Atlantic one. And as a prime minister, I have succeeded not only to keep the country in this direction, but also to improve the economic stats and to improve the prosperity of the, of the people. And that's the, that's the good example for our neighbors. Last year, 2013, we have succeeded to have the, the fastest growing economy, 3.5. This year, it's going to be a little bit lower, between 2 and 3%. We have uh, un below 7% unemployment and a very small deficit. It's very important to continue making the structural reforms, maybe the most important and the most successful one in Romania. And a good example for the rest of the region is the one in the energy. Because uh, mentioning Ukraine and, uh, and the region of the Black Sea, the energy, the energy independence is the most important battle to win. I think that uh, Russia's most effective weapon is the energy. And as long as Romania and the country in the regions are energy independent, we will continue to grow and to, and to offer prosperity, stability and predictability for this region. I think that the economic sanction and the very clear political positions are important just to show the Russian Federation and Mr. Putin that uh, illegal uh, actions cannot go unpunished. But on the other hand, and this is my message coming from a country which has only 25 years of democracy, coming from communist time, from Soviet Union dominance, is that the European uh, obligation and the United States is to prove the Ukrainian citizens, the Moldovian citizens, the Georgian citizens, that their own life is going to be improved, that they will have better opportunities, that they will be equal citizens of Europe. I'm going uh, in a few days to visit uh, Kiev. I have been many times this year to, uh, to Chisinau. And this is the message that uh, if these countries and these people are going to trust Europeans and going the pro-democratic and pro-European path, that will come also strong institutions, transparency, anti-corruption fight, and also and also clear improvement of their life standards. You are absolutely right. And that's why I mentioned the case of Romania, but also remember the case of the Baltic states, of Poland, of the rest of the former communist uh, country. 25 years ago, nobody dreamt to have us in the European family, to have us democratic and free society. This is, this is the, the successful stories that should be presented to Ukraine, to Moldova and to Georgia. And in the same time, we must be more solid with these people because you are absolutely right. The closer they are to Russia, the, difficult, the more difficult it is. But that's why energy independence, strong institutions, and, uh, and uh, a clear political uh, position coming uh, from all the members of the international community, it's very important. And I'm, I'm sure that we will succeed even with, this, uh, with these uh, three countries, like we have succeeded with the former communist uh, countries like Romania, which are now members of the democratic community. I thank you very much, Nina.